The Dollar General, better known as the place with the big yellow sign where you go to get your snacks from, is a corporate employer with over 17,000 stores that employs over 143,000 people. And I'm about to give you the reasons why some of those people decided to quit this company. Obi. Juan Kenobi, please hold me, don't show me, Obi. For legal reasons, I do need to let you know that anything I say is based on my opinions gathered from online research. I am not making the claim that these reviews are the facts, but I will never make up blatant factual inaccuracies just to make a business look bad. I'm using the same online information that everyone has access to, and I encourage you to do your own research and draw your own conclusions. When it comes to the major job posting sites, this company currently has an overall rating of 3.1 on Indeed and 2.9 on Glassdoor. That places it as a below average employer. It's just not a desirable place to work. But to get the best idea for why people like, hate, or tolerate a job, it's best to look at how they rate in the five categories. Compensation and benefits, work-life balance, management, job security and advancement, culture. So first, let's go over why people quit. To do this, we'll focus on the bottom two categories. At Dollar General, these are job security and advancement and compensation, or pay. I was looking around just for fun, and I saw a job posting for store manager that was $18 an hour. That seems like it's more in line with a department lead position at Target, maybe. But for store manager, this is kind of an insult. I'm trying to wrap my head around how you can pay that much, or that little, I should say, for a branch manager position. I mean, I know it's the DG, but I mean, these are still very busy stores. They have several associates over different shifts. This should be a $45,000 per year at the bare minimum. I'm seeing people reporting in some places that they're getting paid less than $15 an hour for store manager. That's nuts. What we're seeing in the reviews is pretty much a general consensus of unhappy employees. People just don't like the company. It's clearly very hard to find good managers here, which kind of snowballs into bigger issues, especially if you're paying them less than an assistant manager at Walmart would make. An unskilled or even bad manager leads to unhappy employees that don't feel like they have a future with the company. And by the way, no offense to the good DG managers out there, they are out there. It's just my honest opinion that companies like the Dollar General have a hard time finding and keeping good managers such as yourself, I have a feeling that a good chunk of the good ones don't stay long after the man behind the curtain is revealed. Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. But let's forget managers for the time being. The obvious winner when it comes to why people quit is going to be pay. This company does not pay their employees well. It's a bare minimum company. They will stay at the lowest possible dollar number that they can hire people at until people just stop applying. And then they're forced to raise it a little. I guarantee that this is a company that presses their managers to pick up the slack because of their inability to keep people hired. This place will work its staff to the bone for the bare minimum. And some people may argue that this is so the discounts get passed over to the customer. But you know, this is a billion dollar company, more like double digit billions. They're making lots of money and it's coming at the cost of its underpaid employees. So let's take a look at what employees had to say. Here I've handpicked five of my favorite one-star reviews to see what people had to say about what they hated about this company. Management was real rude. The manager would get mad if you ended up sick. Out of Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Didn't not like this job. Manager was very rude and didn't care if you was sick or not. Rude company. Need more job fun and make the environment more fun and exciting. Yeah. Terrible. Out of Michigan City, Indiana. You want no life? Do you want to feel run down? Do you like feeling like no matter what you do, it's not good enough? Well, then Dollar General is definitely for you. If not, run as far as humanly possible. Jobs sucked out of St. Joseph, Missouri. Corporate is a bunch of idiots. Nothing is great. You get fired even if a customer lies on you and you have a coworker that agrees that I did not say that. They still fire you. Doesn't matter how hard you work for them. They don't care. Hate it here out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'd sell drugs before I return to working at the Dollar General or any dollar store in that case. The pay is horrible, which means the job won't attract the best candidates, and it's just a downward slope from there forward. 
They want blood from a stone. And if you have no blood to give, they will go after your bone marrow <laughs> out of Pennsylvania. Zero work-life balance, so don't buy the scripted speech they give you in the interview. Managers are treated like animals. I worked 70 hours on average a week and was told I needed to be there more. No support for hiring if you are in a hard-to-staff location, so do not expect help. Grossly underpaid for the amount of expected hours you'll work. It's a six-day work week, so again, don't be fooled. Management puts band-aids on everything, but doesn't address root causes. Truck deliveries are never correct. They wouldn't care if you drop dead on the sales floor, so long as they could retrieve your keys and hand off the position to the next person. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break from the video so I can show you something that I found while putting this thing together. I'm sure you're familiar with the old TV show Dukes of Hazard and the car The General Lee. Well, I bring to you the Dollar General. <laughs> okay, so now back to our regularly scheduled program. As far as management and culture, this screams like one of those places where nobody cares. They don't pay them enough to care. It's probably pretty laid back job with mostly laid back people working there. I dare say laid back to the point of just doing enough to not get fired. I can see this as one of those places where the employees are probably smoking a little bit of that lettuce by the dumpster. Overall, I'm sure it's probably kind of a fun place to work when the customers aren't around. With that said, the Dollar General is a super corporate employer. When I say that for this company, I want you to picture that overly greedy, fat corporate cat sitting in the office with a cigar. The ridiculously over-the-top corporate villain. That's how I picture the Dollar General. Just sitting at the head of a table in a board meeting, puffing a cigar, saying, we need to make more money, reduce staff, and increase productivity. Then you get the concerned board member, but sir, we're already pushing the managers too far. Call security. Have them change his locks, clean out his desk, and toss him out of the building. Oh, but it's Christmas. <laughs> Call accounting. Stop his bonus. This is not the place you go for a career if your plan is to work your way up the corporate ladder. You'd have better luck at a reputable retail chain like Target. This is the place where you go to make the best of a bad situation. If you're in management, you will be overworked. If you're not in management, you most likely won't get benefits or enough hours. From my observations, they usually keep about three people on full-time per store. You've got the manager, the assistant manager, and one full-time associate. That's not an exact number, but the corporate office will definitely want as few full-time associates per store as possible. The rest are going to be part-time. And the pay for all positions on the ground level, meaning working in the store, are well below average. This is going to be a company that will pay the bare minimum. You could get paid more to be an assistant manager at Walmart than to be a branch manager here. Keep that in mind. And one big problem that a bunch of managers run into here is being able to keep people hired. When you are paying minimum wage or close to it, you're not going to be able to get people who care about the job. You could literally go anywhere and get paid the same or more. And when they call out or quit, then who do you think is going to have to cover their shift? That's right, Mr. or Miss Manager. That's going to be your job. Every week, open and close, constantly interviewing and hiring in between putting stock away and running the cash register. Then when you talk to your district or regional boss, they can play the, oh, well, we've got the job posted. I don't understand why people don't want to work game. This job is a nightmare for store managers. Would I recommend this company as a place to work? No to store manager and assistant manager roles and really to anyone looking to have a standard full-time job with benefits and all that stuff. Yes to district and regional level on up positions to build your resume and yes to part-time positions for people who are just looking for extra cash. I would not recommend making a career out of it, but I would recommend this as a temporary solution. And until you find that permanent solution, make sure you are brushing up your interview skills and keeping your resume up to date. Always have a solid exit plan. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've worked for the Dollar General, then let me know what you think. Were my observations close or was I way off? I'd love to hear about your experience. Use the comment section to write your own review. Let me know why you loved or hated your job at the Dollar General. Please stand by for a message from the president of the company. Greetings, humans. My name is Nitsaj, but my friends refer to me as the Nebralian. I know, weird, he's got a tie on, am I right? But look, I'm going to be straightforward with you Earthlings. I mean, your governments aren't even denying the fact that I'm here anymore. 
<laughs> the jig is up. So yes, the rumors are true. We are taking over your world and using your bodies as vessels for our offspring. Although we will be keeping some of you around to provide essential services such as DoorDash and Netflix. Which reminds me, if you do want to remain alive after the full invasion, then please let us know. You can register here on the Nebralian channel by hitting that subscribe button and punching that bell for future notifications. Only Nebralian subscribers will be spared. I ride a hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus.